uh, let's get rolling here this morning. So uh, make sure that you check uh, the members download page, uh, the members download page, or look at um, in your mailboxes all you members. Uh, I have the um, PDF out into your mailboxes on how to grab uh, to look for liquidity grabs, and then also um, how to use automated trading on our longer smooth Renko, um, our, our smooth Renko sizes. So I have updated that. Um, I put some um, some settings in there for you guys. Uh, so look for that in your mailboxes, all you members, and it's on the members download page. So uh, what I did in the new PDF, uh, the updated PDF for you guys, is I updated a couple things. There's there's a couple ways you can use Sim Trader, uh, Sim Scalper. You can use it as looking for liquidity grab trades, and then you can also look to use it uh, for um, for automated trading also. Uh, so in doing that, there's two uh, specific ways to do it. You can use longer Renko, smooth Renko sizes that uh, that's in the PDF, and then on the training calls that we do, and I'll go over that today after I get off this video with you guys to recap. Um, but there's also, we can look for liquidity grabs. We can use this as an indicator, and we can use it as a strategy uh, to, to look for, um, use it as a strategy to for, for automated trading also. So these yellow, let's go over this first of all. Let's go over what a liquidity grab is, and then we'll get into some of the automated trading with it also. So what a liquidity grab is, is if you see a, uh, on the Rinko sizes that I give you guys, if you see a pullback uh, into um, the Rinko bar, meaning it pulls back, it's going to be a red, red intra bar, and you get a pullback red intra bar, and then all of a sudden you get a yellow close on the next bar as a yellow uh, candle, that candle is a zone break. That this is where we're going to try to catch the wrongly positioned traders. Uh, this is where they bring the market down on these liquidity grabs like this, and then they bring it right back up to maintain uh, the same color candle that the pullback started with. And this is how they grab liquidity. And if you see a zone break that happens, I sent a lot of charts out to you Monday like this. Uh, if you see this combination that comes up. That is called a liquidity grab. They're pulling liquidity. They're getting the counter trend traders, getting the counter algorithms out of the market, bring it back. The next candle has to be a zone break. That indicates they're going to try to drive the market up. So when you see these liquidity grabs like this and you see a zone break right afterwards, what the zone break does, you're going into a new territory. And the new territory is where they like to look for if you are buying, they're like the buy stops will start. Uh, should be start hitting. You should see the market drive up or the sell stops should start hitting on the downside. So these yellow candles will automatically come up on, this, on the Simrinko. So when you see a liquidity grab, this is a beautiful liquidity grab that happened uh, on Monday. Um, you can see the deep liquidity that they pull. Uh, you can see that first of all we're red, right? Uh, I smooth the Renko, optimize these Renko candles and you can see that we are red candles. Then they get a deep intra intra bar pullback so as this bar is ticking it's going to be green so you can't confirm it's a liquidity grab until this actually closes back red once it closes back red that's liquidity what you want to see is you want to see that yellow candle on the sim scalper you want to see that fire when that fires that tells you that you are in a possible vertical hard market in that direction so that tells us they grab liquidity They've taken the counter trend traders out of the market. They grab liquidity to drive it lower. And if you see this combination, when you get a liquidity grab, this works on all markets, and you see my SIM scalper go to the yellow, yellow candle, the next candle, that they've grabbed liquidity to drive the market south. And this is a big drive, 22 on the S&P, down to 10 uh, within five minutes. Um, they drove the S&P down uh, quite considerably, uh, they drove it down 12 S&P points. So when you see these liquidity grabs, the key is, is you want to see that candle happen right afterwards. If you see that happen right afterwards, you know they're trying to grab liquidity. They're trying to drive it north. If you see that occur, that means they're trying to drive it north if it's green, and then they're trying to drive it south, mark the market down if it's red. So wh when you see these uh, occur together in the combination, um, 
when, when, when they are comboing together, here's another big one, another big one here at 10 o'clock in the morning. They got to, you want to see them happen together because remember the yellow candles coming up, zone breaks, so and when there's new territory in the market um, and they're trying to take the buy stops uh, out uh, when we're trying to mark it up or the sell stops down when they're trying to mark the market down. So if you, if you look this morning, we've got, um, we, we kind of, we had four zone breaks here this morning. Uh, so far, they're trying to drive the market south down here right now as we speak. Now what you can do, uh, you can look at grabbing liquidity on other markets also, but you can use automated trading with it also. So here's the Dow, that, I mean, here's the NASDAQ this morning. The NASDAQ, uh, I'm going to show you two Rinko sizes that work really, really well with the NASDAQ. So after this video, uh, since you members are in the room, um, I will show you these uh, Rinko sizes. But for instance, let's go to real time. This has been trading since this morning, earlier this morning. I'll click real time. This is real time. This is on two contracts on the NASDAQ. So obviously past performance is not indicative of future results. We know that, but we can see how uh, accurate the, um, the zone break with liquidity grabs can be. Uh, this is a big liquidity grab with a zone break right afterwards. So you can even use the automated uh, system to, to catch these also. Or if you want to use Chart Trader and use the SIM scalper as an indicator, let it run on SIM and manually uh, cherry pick these trades where a liquidity grab and uh, the zone break happens right afterwards. So this is what it's run here this morning so far just on this small, this is a small Renko size. So this is the trades that it's run since midnight uh, last night. I've been having it run by skinny it down. So there's since the 26, uh, there's are the trades. This is a SIM scalper. Um, I'm not going to show you the settings right now on this video because this goes out to our website. Uh, you members will get these exact settings. I'll show you here in a second. This is a smaller Rico size I'd like to use. Uh, we will go over that right after I get off the microphone um, with you guys. Um, so I will show you how to do that. That's, this is in the PDF also for you members on the download page. So this is the kind of action we got here this morning on this smaller Rinko size on the NASDAQ. It's done quite well. You can see this is only two contracts. First coming off at eight ticks, runner running, and then um, the runner will get taken out if we close outside of these trail dots. These orange dots are the trail dots. You can see we had some pretty big runners. We got a runner going right now that's currently in on the, uh, on the NASDAQ right currently right now. Now let's go over this real quick and I'll show you why these liquidity grab zone break combinations work so well. So here was a deep grab. So what they did on this Rinko size, uh, so you can see we red, 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 red. So we're in a downtrend. Look at the deep pullback we get, intra-bar pullback. At the time, this is ticking green. So what you want to do is you want to wait till this comes back, closes red again. And if that zone break comes exactly immediately, and this is in the PDF that is in your mailboxes today. I, I went over it at the end of the, um, of the PDF. If it closes yellow right after that deep liquidity grab, look for the mark to mark the market down. Look for the mark to mark it down. Um, the, the, this is the SIM scalper that actually traded this uh, this morning. Um, like I said, this is not historical as running this uh, real time, so click real time. So that's on two contracts. That's what it's done this morning on the big contract. Now, if you trade the micros, that's one-tenth of this, one-tenth of the loss, which would be $15 around, and then one-tenth of the gain, which would be $116.50. So micros are one-tenth, one-tenth of this. So remember, past performance, not indicative of future results. Obviously, this is educational software for you guys, but it shows you the power of using the zone breaks right after a liquidity grab and look at the moves that we can get in the market. So we'll go over this, so like I said, and had, a, had another big one right there. This one happens exactly, now if you see this happen, this is really a cool looking setup. So the liquidity grab happened where, 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 right where the zone break happened. This happened on the NASDAQ yesterday again. If you see this, if you see a zone break on this Rinko size happen exactly on the liquidity grab, they really like to mark the market up. This happened this morning. And the, the liquidity grab happened 
deep, deep grab right where the zone break happened. The market just uh, took off to the upside. I mean, 20,000, and it rallied as high as 20,072. So really got a 50, uh, a 50 point move on the NASDAQ just like that also. Right now you can see it's trailing. So it's not going to get out of this uh, system, uh, out of this uh, trade. Right now it's short the SIM scalper at 19,974. Uh, it got in because of liquidity grab and the next candle is the uh, zone break. This combination is very, very powerful because it's grabbing liquidity, but you're going into a, a new territory where you're, they're trying to hit the sell stops. I want to see it happen right afterwards. I want to see this zone break happen right afterwards. Right now, um, it's programmed to where these orange trail dots, uh, it's a 10 setting, a 20 ATR with a 10 trail. Uh, it's is designed to trail this until we get stopped out as far as that goes. Now, this is a shorter Rinko size, right? This is a shorter Rinko size. It's done very well this morning again so far. It did very well yesterday. So now let's look at a longer Rinko size. A longer Rinko size has been absolutely uh, uh, on, on nailing some trades this week. So let's go Monday to today. This is my longest Rinko size. All right. So this is my longer Rinko size, and we'll go over this after I get off the PDF. Uh, this is in the PDF that you guys have in your mailboxes, and I will also go over this um, with the settings here right after I get off the microphone to you members. But this one you can see is a little bit different. Now what we're doing is we're getting longer trends, right? So this is a 26. It, it, we're, we're getting longer. This is a smooth Rinko, right? This is a smooth Rinko. So what it's trying to do is you're getting the liquidity grabs, right with the zone breaks, but it's on longer Rinko size. So longer Rinko size, what are we going to get? We're just going to get a larger push in the market, larger potential vertical push. So when you get these larger potential pushes, the difference is, is just simply the Rinko size. The SIM scalper already has everything built into it already. Now, this one also, um, we've been running uh, since uh, Monday on this, and uh, it's done very, very well since Monday. So you can replay this in a second. I'll show you the settings. Go back and do a replay Monday through Wednesday. You'll see the results on these two charts, and you'll see what type of uh, uh, accuracy you can have with the Simrinko after you get a liquidity pool with this. So I'm going to go. These settings are in the PDF that you have in your mailbox um, and on the members download page. But also I'll go over it to you um, here in one second. We'll go over it. Uh, in the room in one second after I get off the microphone. So once again, this one's been running also, and it's done very, very well. Uh, we're at 86% uh, also on this one So for the week. So this has done very well also. So I will show you these two Rico sizes, but that's the gist of it, is that you want to, there, there's there's two ways you can do this with the Sim Rico. One, we can use it um, for, for automated. So we, we can use it for automated. So we can use it for automated here. Okay, so we can use it for automated. For automated trading. So that's one way to use it. Um, and then the second way is you can use it for catching liquidity grabs after you get a uh, after you get a um, liquidity grab you can catch the zone break as an indicator. So you can use it either way. Uh, either way, you can use automated trading where, where you let. If you're doing automated trading, I like these longer Rinko sizes. Why? Because you get these nice sustained pushes in the market. You can see that nice little sustained pushes in the market, and I go over that on how to do that. Uh, it's had it caught the market with that big uh, short in the market earlier this week, and then it caught the big nice uh, move up in the Nasdaq on both days here today and today. So we can do automated trading from it, and then we can do liquidity grab trading with zoom breaks as an indicator. If you use this as an indicator, 
then what we want to do is we want to see this exact setup. We want to see a deep liquidity grab, whether it be a larger Rinko size or smaller on the sim on the sim scalper. And then you want to see you'll want to see the zone break happen right afterwards. So as the market's moving down right now, right now, you know, here's a small liquidity grab that's happening on the Nasdaq futures off the longer Rinko size. But I want to see if I'm I'm using this as an indicator, then I want to see this turn a yellow candle, which it did not as far as for an entry. And so um, you'll want to use that as your combination. So you can see this trail is still working on my smaller Renko size, which I'll go over for you in a second. It still hasn't got us out. So it's still short at 19,974. See, it's going to keep trailing until I close outside the Renko, outside of my trail. Here's my trail dots. The Dow had a beautiful day yesterday as this is ticking through. The Dow short right now also actually got the runner got taken out. But yesterday, um, I was showing it some of you guys in the room, uh, the accuracy of the Dow. It was absolutely on fire yesterday on the smaller Renko size on catching these moves. The Dow, again, um, I'll show you this, this exact Renko size on the Dow. But it this was... This was, this was on, really caught some big runners yesterday on the down, the upside and downside all day from midnight. Replay this from midnight, the whole trading day on the Dow, on the Renko size I'll show you. And uh, it just had a phenomenal uh, trading day yesterday. Right now it's actually uh, had a couple trades this morning. It had one, two, three successful trades here this morning uh, as far as the Dow goes. So we'll go over a lot of different markets after I get off of this microphone. So I'll just show you members. I don't want to do it on the recorded call to show because these are in the PDF. Um, but this, like I said, it works on you know all markets. Um, we, we got a big runner on the RTY this morning. I'll show you this Renko size here this morning also. Uh, this is the Russell 2000. It got short, and um, it's got a runner running here also. But the, the difference is this, guys. Um, what you want to do is you have a shorter Renko size that you can look for these liquidity grab pull-ins, right? And then you got a longer Renko size right here, you know, for the automated, oh, let's get this back off here. Then you got the uh, the, the longer Renko size for your, uh, if you want to run it around 24 hours a day. So if you're looking to run this thing 23 out 24 hours a day, then what you can do is you can use it if on the longer Renko sizes because this can get through chop and chop, right? Then it gets get through chop and trend. So trend or chop, you can see they're very smooth. If you trade the longer Renko, smooth Renko, you're going to have to adjust your stop to get through these liquidity grabs. And so right here, I have break even plus one. It got me out of the breaking plus one because of liquidity grab. This one stayed through liquidity grab. So you can see that if you trade in the large Renko sizes, I show you how to do it. You'll want to get through those liquidity grabs um, when you're doing these larger Renko sizes. If you trade the smaller Renko sizes, like this, we're still we're still short the Nasdaq futures right now since 8:16. Right now it's 8:40, so it's been short for 20 minutes right here on the Nasdaq. But even, even this is a smaller Renko size, but look how it smooths the price action out on the NASDAQ futures. So it's still, this is a perfect combination. There's my liquidity grab. Remember, it has to be red. It's got to get a deep pullback, but you want to see this combination. You want to see the combination of the pullback and then the pull-in. Okay, right now we are still trailing. It has not got us out on this setup yet. It's been short for 22 contracts. It's been short um, it's been short since 816. Right when it pulls out, this candle is going to have to close out side of these yellow trail dots. They hug price really close on this smooth Renko. But this is a, this is a smaller Renko which I'll show you members in a second versus the other Renko bar. And I'll show you how that works. But uh, we can watch price action here a little bit. You can see that we won't close out this this algorithm. Won't uh, exit the position until we actually close outside. It's got to be a closing basis. So when when you trade these, I mean we've had a couple trades here this morning. The last 
liquidity grab trade started at 509. Here's the next liquidity grab zone break. But let's look at the consistency of the setup, why this thing's still trailing. Look at the first trade setup that it did this morning. Look at that deep liquidity grab right into the zone break. So you can use this, like I said, if you don't like automated trading, right? You don't have to use a SIM scalper's automated trading. You use it as an indicator. Use it as an indicator to show you that that is your best possible scenario for the market to get marked down because you're getting a liquidity grab with a zone break immediately on the next bar. Because remember, these liquidity grabs must happen, but you must have a zone break to qualify it. The zone break is what pulls you in on the SIM scalper because that is telling you that we're going into um, we're going into a territory where it could get a, a reversal. Okay, so um, that's the two ways to trade it, guys. You can trade it for as an indicator or a strategy. Like I said, if you use it as a strategy, you can use it like this morning. This morning it's done very very well. This has been trading live here this morning. Um, in the background and here's the setup so far on this Renko size we're currently still short on that and then if you want to trade it off a longer Renko size we have that also when you trade these these yellow when these yellow candles come up that is when you're looking for a what you're looking for a continuation but I like when there's a liquidity grab before the yellow candle because it tells you that you have a potential vertical move in the market Okay, so let's take a look at the NASDAQ now. Let's take a look at the results here this morning. We're going to hit real time since midnight, real time, click it. So that's the type of results we got this morning on this Renko size, which I'll go over. We're batting about 87% um, as far as that goes uh, on the NASDAQ futures with this small, smooth Renko size. Um, I'll show you how uh, members will go over this in a second. It is also in the PDF. All right, we'll go over this on a weekly basis. I'll show you guys how to do this on a weekly basis, um, but um, we'll 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 see we'll show you guys how this works. So remember, two ways to do it: we can use this as an indicator, the sim scalper as an indicator, and wait till we get a liquidity grab with these uh, Rinko sizes. I tell you, and the yellow yellow candle comes up immediately afterwards. That's the combination you want. liquidity grab yellow candle right afterwards that's your best combination you can have several markets open at the same time I, the, the the markets that I'm that I like running this with here we go es ym cl rty gold let's see uh, we got the ym rty cl all the nasdaq in Q. So those are some of the top markets right there that you can look to run uh, with the SIM scalper. Obviously, micros are one tenth of that, but you want to see this combination in all the markets. You want to see a deep liquidity grab. This will be intrabar, green, 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 close back red, yellow candle should come next. Then you should see a nice follow through in the market. Um, you can use two ways. You can do the automated uh, trading with our um, with our SIM scalper or use it as an indicator turn it on SIM and wait for the deep liquidity grab and then see if we can get a pulled in that way also okay that's the best way to do it all right we will go this on a weekly basis on a week-to-week -week basis to make sure that everybody's on the same page